Welcome to the Minute Science channel. Have you ever wondered why is glass transparent? If you look outside a window, you can see the bright sunny day outside and it seems like the glass is not there, which means that glass is a special kind of solid that is see-through. Let's do a funny experiment. Imagine you have a wall with a glass window on it. And on the back side of the wall, behind the glass window, you place a white clear canvas and grab a flashlight and switch it on. When the light hits the glass, it is not blocked by it, even though glass is a solid, but passes right through it and casts itself onto the canvas. But if you repeat this experiment again, but this time, you don't have a glass window but a brick wall and when you shine the light on the brick wall you will see when the light hits the brick wall it does not pass through but is blocked by the solid object and the light cannot pass through the wall the structure of glass is different from other solids glass is mainly made up of silicon dioxide there are two types of solid one is a crystalline solid and other is the amorphous solid. So when the atoms in a solid are arranged in a pattern, it is called as a crystalline solid. We can see here that the solid arranges in a type of fixed pattern arrangement where the pattern repeats itself multiple times. But glass is different. Firstly, when we take the raw SiO2 or silicon dioxide, it is a form of a crystalline solid called as quartz. But when we heat up quartz at a very high temperature, it takes up a molten state. And this molten state, when cools down, the arrangement of atoms is different. The atoms are arranged in an irregular pattern where no crystal structure is formed. The atoms take up whichever space they find and the pattern is irregular in nature and is not repeated and this glass is called as an amorphous solid and this irregular pattern gives the glass a special property amorphous solids reflect less light as compared to crystalline solids so it allows the light to pass right through the glass without reflecting a unit of light is called as a photon and photon has some special characteristics to it. It is a particle, but this particle has some wave-like properties. It also has a specific wavelength and frequency attached to it. In a photon, the wavelength of light gives the photon its color. The shorter wavelengths, which are in high frequency, are more bluer in color. A longer wavelengths, which have Smaller frequencies are more red in color. Every matter is made up of atoms. The atoms have a central nucleus which is comprised of protons and neutrons and revolving around the nucleus we have the electrons. The electrons are tiny particles and different atoms have different number of electrons in an atom and the arrangement of these electrons in a specific atom is different from the other. The electrons do not move haphazardly inside the atom. They move in fixed shells around the nucleus. And these shells are also called as energy levels, which means that the shell that is closer to the nucleus is in lower energy. The shell that is farther away from the nucleus has higher energy. The difference in energy of shells is called as an energy gap. The unit of light that is photon has some energy link to it. This means that photon is also an energetic particle. Here, the blue light, which is a shorter wavelength and higher frequency, has higher energy to it as compared to the red light that has high wavelength and lower frequency, which means it has lower energy to it. In atoms, the electrons can jump from one shell to another by two processes. 
either by taking energy they jump from a lower energy shell to a higher energy shell or by releasing their energy and coming back to the relaxed state where they jump from a higher energy shell to a lower energy shell and the energy gap which is the difference between the energy of shells for each atom is specific in nature when a photon that has a specific energy to it which is equal to the energy gap when it strikes the electron the electron becomes energized it is called as an excited electron and th- this excited electron jumps from the lower shell to a higher shell depending on energy of the photon that strikes it you may wonder that electrons being so tiny and photons even tinier so how are they able to hit each other how is a photon able to strike the electron actually in an atom the electron does not behave as a particle but they behave as a zone or a halo inside the shell the photon do strike this zone and energizes it where the halo acts as a zone of influence for the electron so when the photons of right energy hits the electrons the electrons get excited and jumps to a higher energy shell but when it returns back to its relaxed state after some time it releases energy in a longer wavelength so let's assume that the photon of blue light strikes the electron so the electron gets excited and jumps from the lower energy shell to a higher energy shell but when coming back to the relaxed state it releases energy in a longer wavelength or we can say that red light is emitted in the process this phenomenon of absorption and then release of photons gives color to the objects the photons of visible light that is the colors we see has a fixed wavelength but the photons of this visible range does not contain the required energy to energize the electrons in atoms inside the glass so that means that these photons passes right through the glass without interacting with any electrons hence all the visible light passes through the glass and it appears transparent the light that interacts with the atom of glass is ultraviolet light because ultraviolet light is of higher frequency and lower wavelength and has the specific energy that allows the electrons to jump from a lower shell to a higher shell so the photons of ultraviolet light energizes the electrons inside the atoms of glass hence the glass is opaque to ultraviolet light and does not allow to pass through it so if we stand behind a sheet of glass and place a source of ultraviolet radiation on the other side the ultraviolet light will not pass through it a sheet of glass prevents skin tanning and protects against harmful ultraviolet radiation if you like this type of content please like the video hit the notification bell icon so that you get further updates for my future videos and do subscribe to my channel